Hello, Scorpio. Oh, sorry for the loud music. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back to this, that Tarot. Scorpio, we're going to talk a little bit about Mercury Retrograde. But first, I want to talk about the song that was playing when I shuffled your chords. It's called Rising to the Top by Kenny Burke. Old school, honey. Journey like that old school music. So... He says, I know we're doing everything that we want to. Okay. Meanwhile, we're losing because we won't let go. Let go. Take that how it resonates, right? We won't let go of something. It could be each other. It could be ways. It could be things that are prohibiting coming together, whatever that means. And yet we go. Let's start thinking, what are we doing? Don't let nothing change your mind. Let's start heading homeward bound. Get off the ground and stop losing. Let's keep rising to the top. Give it all you got, right? Let me write that down. Somebody's a musician. Y'all hear that little solo? Give it all you got. I feel like that's what somebody's, I don't know. It feels like. Kind of a vibe, something connected to your situation, Scorpio. It gives, why are you playing these games? What we gonna do? You know what I mean? Give it all you got, or it's almost like go, go hard or go home. Something like that, right? So maybe you've been in this in-between, limbo-y, confused space. Like, you know, a lot of things are so vague now. You know, I tried to have a conversation with a 40-something-year-old <laughs> not too long ago. And it was like, I'm sorry, I asked you a direct question. Now, if you don't feel comfortable answering that question, that's your, that's your, you know, that's your thing. But you can communicate that, too, because adults, right? So I feel like maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't know, that could, be, that could resonate for someone. Scorpio, during this retrograde, if you're working remotely, be sure to stay on top of your home office organization or this cosmic period will be rough. If you feel, wait, you'll feel the first part of this retrograde most strongly in your domestic life, which could be particularly distressing if you don't take enough time away from home. Be sure to double check your alarm and set it each night and try to fit a few extra minutes in to get ready since running behind will be unreasonably easy right now okay you'll notice a shift on the 25th when mercury enters Cap capricorn you ah. when mercury enters capricorn in your sector and the sector of your chart that governs communication okay you'll likely fluctuate between saying too much and not saying enough which could be particularly hard on your relationships Ooh, I have that problem. <laughs> but I'm Mars, too. I'm Aries. Try to be mindful of your words right now, since stress and frustrations in your life could lead you to a bit of a venomous tongue. Okay. Feeling intellectually blocked is another unfortunate side of this planetary backspin. And you can feel as though you're having trouble processing the simplest of concepts. Try to keep your mind agile by reading every night. Oh, I've started reading again. Scorpio, and it puts me right on out. And it, and, it, and it reading and working out helps me burn that last little bit of overthinking at the end of the day. Um, what was I going to say? Try to keep your mind on a job by reading every night, playing strategy games, working on a puzzle, which can help you to maintain a semblance of some semblance of clarity. If you're the type that carries crystals around, opt for stones that promote focus, such as clear quartz, citrine, and gold barrel. Citrusy scents and flavors can also help you wake up your brain. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's this place. They have like this hairspray. It's like an orange citrusy. And where it's, it's, it's in Germany. It's a place called Rituals. But I'm sure like Bath and Body Works or somewhere. They have like this. It's like an orange citrusy. And it's and it's for your hair. Because I'm always like concerned about my locks smelling good. Um, but I noticed when I sprayed that stuff in my hair in the store. I was like, oh, I feel happy. So I would opt for that. Anyway, Scorpio. 
Give it all you got. Let's see. What does Scorpio need to be aware of during this Mercury retrograde? Somebody's thinking more than they're talking. Maybe you're thinking about what it is that you're holding on to. Is it in your emotions, though? And what you're holding on to seems to be really heavy. be a lot of responsibilities or it could be somebody who um, is a responsibility to you a heavy one so this could be a grown person or a grown child but a lot of you are thinking about mm, it could be retracting an offer from someone or just very hesitant about pursuing something. There's a bigger part of you that pursues it, but there's another part of you that's like, it's like a part of you that sees like there's there's no other way that this could go. You know how they say, oh, well, there's always a choice. Sometimes there isn't. Like, and there's one part of you that's like, there's no other way this thing could go. I don't see any other options for this. But then there's another part of you that continues to, I don't know. Is it pursue it? Yeah. Even though it's throwing you off balance. Even though you don't feel like you're on the right street a lot of times. But I feel like it's connected to this Queen of Wands in the reverse. So we got the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the King of Wands in the reverse. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse. But neither one of you are turned on and neither one of you are allowing it to come to an end. She thinks that, okay, I'm just going to say it how I'm saying it, right? She thinks that you're emotionally unavailable, she or he. And he thinks that there's something she's not telling him. Or he just like, he don't want to talk. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable talking. You know, um, and it's not just men. It's women, too. Because I've noticed this, like, a lot. I've heard a lot of women say oh he just won't talk to me he won't open up to me and this and that and I'm like I don't really have that problem <laughs> if anything is the other way around and it's because when you've allowed yourself to be vulnerable or share something with someone maybe it was used against you maybe it was thrown back up in your face when when there was an argument I just had a conversation with the Leo and I said you know you need to be very careful what it is that you say when you're upset with me. Because the damage can be done. You know, some people, words hurt. People remember words. You know what I mean? So I feel like the masculine energy may have shut down. Because maybe when he did communicate, his words were questioned. Um, and so he became unhappy. And then the regression, it just went from there. It just kept regressing from there, right? Until finally, he's like, I'm just ready to resolve all of this. What are we doing? So I feel like it's the masculine energy that may be asking, what are we doing? It's like, we're doing what we're doing, but somehow we're losing. So how do we get to the point where we're not losing? You know what I mean? She feels like he's indecisive as to whether or not he 
he even wants this with her, right? She's feeling a stop with him. He's feeling that how can we... <laughs> He's feeling like, well, if it's going to keep going like this, then maybe we should break up. <laughs> so it's like a lot of things are going on about a particular connection. Somebody's trying to avoid or maybe wondering if um, they're... If they're being given false hope, or if they're giving themselves false hope. But it gets to that point where I don't want to be home right now. <laughs> I don't want to put any energy into this right now. This isn't making me feel good, and I want to get out of this space where I'm not feeling good. You know that feeling when you're about to pull up at the house, and you're like, maybe I should go back to Walmart real quick. I did see some. And then we start using, like, shopping therapy because there's a bigger problem going on, but nobody's saying anything about it, and nobody's letting it end either. So it just turns into this... This feels more like an attachment. Not to say that there's not love there. But it's like I'm emotionally attached to this thing, but physically and mentally and even emotionally, I'm reaching for something else. Something like that. It's like I'm it's like reaching forward and reaching back at the same time, you know, but something here is not right and I see it. You see it, Scorpio. Because this is your energy. So what are we going to do? You don't want to feel this way anymore. You feel this way because something between you and someone else is not working. You thought about it. Maybe you have taken some time to look at this crossroads that you found yourself at. Some of you needed to take this time or need to take this time. In order to, you know, because I just said this in Libra's reading, you know, we have we all have a purpose, and in Libra's reading there was something that was draining the shit out of them. And when it comes to your purpose and doing what it is that we got to do, our purpose is not to be in love with someone. Our purpose is our purpose. Okay, that's our fingerprint in this world. And. If you're constantly being bogged down by something or if you're holding on to something that's not serving you, that's a big distraction from your purpose. And there are a lot of dreams in the graveyard. That is a heavy statement, but I I realized that when I when I lost my mother, my mother was an artist in every sense of the word, honey. Like, everything you see here on the screen, she could draw it, paint it, sketch it, honey. You name it. Book writer, playwright, this, that. And held on to some patterns in life. Maybe a few self-depreciating thoughts, one after the other. Oh, well, maybe next year. Oh, well, if I let go, how is this, how is this person going to feel? One decision after the other leads you to... That final moment, and one of the things that she looked, that I read in her journal, it's very personal, so I'm, I'm going to share it with you, because that's that's what healing is, you know what I mean? It's, it's looking at these things and learning from these things, right? And so, one of her final journal entries was, I can't struggle my whole life and then die. What is it that you're holding on to, Scorpio? What is it that you're struggling with that you're overthinking? Because tomorrow's not guaranteed. And there were a lot of um, letters sent to Oprah. There were a lot of um, things that were sent out as far as her artwork was concerned that were never realized. Because we were holding on to other shit. We put our time and energy into things that weren't aligned with that particular goal. 
Not to say that that's why the dream didn't come true. But just think about the ways that you're spending your time. Because there were a lot of things that my mother wanted to do. But she held herself to these, you know, we subscribe to these ways of, of living because society or because whatever, or because peer pressure or because whatever it is. Is it worth, um, is whatever it is that you're not letting go of right now or trying to work through, is it worth not realizing that purpose? I pulled a Moonology card for you, Scorpio. And you pulled your own energy. Go deeper. You're regaining control of a situation that cut deep. You've moved through your fears and now you can see where the issue is coming from. Now, is, now isn't the time to gloss over the facts. No vague this time. I don't think you like vague. I think we talked about that at the beginning of the reading. Um, now you can see where the issue is coming from. Okay. Rather, it's time for you to face your darkest concerns and go deeper. Time is all we have. I feel like that's very important for somebody. Your situation may need to crumble before it can renew. Magic is called for. It's crucial to stay strong now. Sexuality, sexually, is a time to reach for true communion with your partner. Financially, this is a blessed time to work with someone on a joint venture. It's time to release a grudge. It could be a grudge that's, that's standing in between the two of you. You're the only one who can control your side of that. You can't control the other person's side of it. But you gotta do, I feel like, I feel like I'm talking to a Scorpio who really needs to do what's best for their soul, right? This card can be especially good for some, um, for, <laughs> for matters related to money, sex, or an obsession you've been grappling with. Know your magic, clear out the negative energy, supercharge your manifesting powers. Life goes in cycles, and my life is now regenerating. So if you want me to leave you with this, y'all let me know how this resonates in the comments. To attain knowledge, add things every day. To attain wisdom, remove things every day. I love you, Scorpio. I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.